I'm Taya Rilkoff. My hometown is Hillsborough, North Dakota. At Mayville State University, I majored in chemistry and I minored in physics. I chose to go to Mayville State University because I wanted to play volleyball and because it was what my family could afford. My favorite courses at Mayville State University were chemistry, organic chemistry, um, and physics. General physics was probably my, my favorite course. I had no interest in chemistry. I wanted to study political science, but my dad talked me out of it, and um, so I took chemistry my f um, freshman fall semester of my freshman year, and I liked it a lot, and I just stuck with it. I'm currently a law student. I'm in my second year at the University of Minnesota. I think there will always be a high demand for students with backgrounds in chemistry and physics, and I, you know, I highly recommend students to pursue this area. There will always be jobs in science and technology and engineering. I chose that path because I, I enjoyed it. I still do really enjoy science. I worked as an environmental and energy engineer for a number of years, and then I went to work at Yale as the Director of External Relations for the School of Science and Engineering, and I wrote about science, which I also really enjoyed. But I've uh, changed career paths yet again, and now I'm pursuing law. I'm so glad that I have the science and engineering background. I think that it'll be a, a real benefit to me as I continue my law degree and, and look for employment in that area. Whether or not I use science and engineering, I think it just provides a lot of the skills that, that are needed also in the field of law. So analytical reasoning and, and problem solving, asking, learn, knowing how to ask, ask the right questions. Mayville State University was a great fit for me. I, don't know how I would have done in larger classes. Uh, small classes was what I was used to, so it was a really good fit. It was an easy transition for me to make. There were some classes that only had three or four students. They were largely taught um, as discussion groups, so they weren't lectures as often. Um, and you, you had the opportunity to participate and ask a lot of questions. And it's a different style of learning that I think everybody benefits from. I was forced to really think about things and explore and ask questions. And I think it was a, a good way to learn the material in a way that allowed me to retain it. The best thing about my experience at Mayville State University was that I was able to get involved in as many things as I wanted to. It's a small school and if you want to get involved in different organizations, you can. Everybody has has a great opportunity to do that. I was in Student Senate. I was president of Student Senate. I was president of Biology Club. Um, I was in Alpha Phi Sigma, which is the honor society. I, I think I was in every organization there was and probably held an office in every organization that there was. Um, and I just don't think you can do that at many other schools. And at Mayville, if you want to get involved, you can. I think it builds um, character, I think that it builds your confidence, and I think it opens up many doors. I, I would not have changed anything. I think it is so important um, for people to have a diverse background, especially if they're interested in policy, and I think science and engineering not only taught me a lot about this field that is really important in today's society, but it also gave me the reasoning skills and the thinking skills that I that I need to succeed in in law and advocacy. The culture at Mayville State can prepare you for anything and the opportunities that students have there are so unlike the opportunities that you get at larger schools and I think that that is what made me the success that I have become. It has opened up so many doors for me and I don't think that those doors would have been opened had I not had the experiences I had at Mayville State.